Okay guys, let's make a start with IELTS listening module and today we are going to solve one complete test together. This is the latest IELTS test as per the latest IELTS test pattern. The pattern you guys are going to practice here, uh, you are more likely to get same type of pattern in actual exam. Remember one thing, there are 17 Cambridge IELTS books. In actual exam, nothing will come from these books. No part from listening, no part from reading. Yes, from speaking, they may give something because the topics are similar. So from speaking, there can be something. And for writing also, they'll not give any topic from here. So this is just the pattern you are preparing, right? In actual exam, they have a different test, but that test will follow the same pattern. It's going to be something similar. Okay, but don't expect that from the, these books something will come and then I'll just do it and all that. Okay, let's take a start. Listening part one. In part one, there'll be 10 questions and the level of difficulty is very, very basic. I mean, the first four or five questions are very simple and easy to answer. There is no problem at all. And by the way, those who are looking for a handsome or good bench score, that starts from 6.5 to 7, 8 or even above, they should focus part one and part four to get 20 by 20 here because part one is one word only. Part four is also one word only. So in part one and four, you have to be careful about your spelling also. If your spelling is wrong, your answer is wrong. Okay, so part one and four and yes, part three, can be a little tricky and part two can be a little tricky but part one and four can give you uh, even the full marks as well okay uh, let's start with test uh, this test complete the notes below this sentence will always tell you about the type of questions you are doing and the question type is complete the notes below Next, write one word only, no number, nothing else. One word only for an answer. Notes completion and one word only. Now, after this, you need to read the title. What's the title? Opportunities for voluntary work in Southo village. It's the name of the village. So there are some opportunities for voluntary work. Voluntary work means unpaid work unpaid job for example if they ask you to clean the park or to clean the garden it's a voluntary work where you are not paid for it like in our country also we've got so many activities which are the part of voluntary work okay so they have opportunities for work in Saudo village and there are three places one is library second is lunch club and third is help for individuals needed next week so these are three categories, okay? In actual exam, they will give you half minute to read questions one to seven, and then they will give you more time to read questions eight to 10. So they divide it into two parts, sometimes one to five, six to 10, sometimes one to four, six to 10, sometimes one to seven, eight to 10. It depends, okay? They will break it in two parts and they'll give you some time to read the questions. Now, most important part is to read and understand the question. If you read and you don't understand the question, you will not find the answer. So reading and understanding the question is 60, 70 percent and then listening to the audio and finding the answer from the audio. Question number one, help with dash books. Now something related to the books and you know category is library. It means they need a volunteer. And the volunteer is going to help with dash books, times to be arranged. So what is it that the volunteer is going to do with the books? That will be your answer. Now I play the audio, listen carefully, the audio will start. And you just have to wait for, we need help with dash of the books or something related to that, okay? So let's see. Part 1. You will hear a man asking about voluntary work in the village that he has just moved to. Hello, Jane Fairbank speaking. Oh, good morning. My name's Frank Pritchard. I've just retired and moved to Southo. 
I'd like to become a volunteer, and I gather you coordinate voluntary work in the village? That's right. What sort of thing could I do? Well, we need help with the village library. We borrow books from the town library, and individuals also donate them. So, one thing you could do is get involved in collecting them. If you've got a car, that is. Yes, that's no problem. The times are pretty flexible, so we can arrange it to suit you. So, collecting. And have you noticed one thing? For books, they use the word them. First, they use the word books, and then they said you can help them collecting them. So, them goes back to books. So, this is what we call referencing. In actual exam, they will not play the audio one by one. In actual exam, they will not repeat the audio. Audio will be played once only. I'm going to repeat it. Now, this time, focus when they say the word collecting them. Part 1. You will hear a man asking about voluntary work in the village that he has just moved to. Hello, Jane Fairbank speaking. Oh, good morning. My name's Frank Pritchard. I've just retired and moved to Southo. I'd like to become a volunteer. And I gather you coordinate voluntary work in the village? That's right. What sort of thing could I do? Well, we need help with the village library. We borrow books from the town library, and individuals also donate them. So, one thing you could do is get involved in collecting them. One thing you could do is get involved in collecting them. We borrow books and this and that. So one thing you can do means help with and collecting and then books is already written. So the answer is collecting. Now you should write collecting with proper ing. If you write only collect, grammatically it's wrong and your answer is wrong. So uh, by the way, you don't have to modify the words. As they speak the words in the audio, just write them down. Okay, let's go on. Question number two. Help needed to keep dash of books up to date. Now again, think about a library. In the library, they need to keep something up to date. Guess? Computer. Keep computer up to date? No. Keep yeah, keep records up to date or keep something up to date. Now, what is it that they have to keep up to date? Please focus. Oh, another thing is the records that we keep of the books we're given and those we borrow and need to return to the town library. It would be very useful to have another person to help keep them up to date. Right. I'm used to working Again, on a... Again, they use the word them. Keep them up to date. And them goes back to records. Okay, this is called referencing. First, they use the noun and then they use pronoun for that noun. So instead of books or instead of records, now they use keep them up to date. So the answer is records. I'm playing it again. Please listen. Again, warning in actual exam, they will not play the audio second time. They will not play the audio one by one. I'm doing it because I'm teaching you. Oh, another thing is the records that we keep of the books we're given and those we borrow and need to return to the town library. It would be very useful to have another person to help keep them up to date. Right. I'm used to working on a computer. I presume they're computerized? Oh, yes. All right. So sometimes listening starts with the tricky questions and you have to be ready for that. OK, let's go on. Question number three. Library is in the dash room and for room R is capital. It means it's going to be the name of the room. For example, the library is in the red room. Like upstairs, we have red room, red room, orange room, or it can be the name of the room. OK, so let's see what name is that. Is the library purpose built? I haven't noticed it when I've walked around the village. No, we simply have the use of a room in the village hall, the West Room. It's on the left as you go in. Well, I must go and have a look inside the hall. Yes, it's a nice building. OK, West Room. So will you write West or will you write The West? Because The is already written, number one. Number two, it's? 
one word only so never write any extra word with that correct answer is west listen to it again is the library purpose built i haven't noticed it when i've walked around the village no we simply have the use of a room in the village hall the west room okay. it's on the west room so west is the right answer let's go on next they have a lunch club now for lunch club question number 4 help by providing now there is something he is going to provide help by providing for providing they might use the word giving rendering offering or anything like that Do you run a lunch club in the village for elderly people? I know a lot of places do. Yes, we have a very successful club. I could help with transport if that's of any use. Oh, definitely. People come to the club from neighboring villages and we're always in need of more drivers. Okay, I could help with transport. Now I could help with transport means help by providing transport is the right answer all good all clear yes. okay let's move on question number 5 help with hobbies such as very simple answer is going to be a hobby right for such as they can say for example and then they will name that hobby so answer is going to be a hobby and does the club have groups that focus on a particular hobby too I could get involved in one or two particularly if there are any art groups excellent i'll find out where we need help and get back to you fine art yeah see especially art group excellent so the correct answer for question number 5 is art and remember art and arts both are two different things right you just need to write singular one okay Let's go on. <clears throat> Help for individuals needed next week. Now it's going to be individual help, and they need that individual help next week. Let's see what that is. Taking Mrs. Carol too. Now Mrs. Carol can be an old lady, and they're going to take her to some place, right? Hospital, or it can be medical center, or a park, or. anywhere restaurant or even maybe there is a birthday party she wants to attend so taking mrs carol to now again you understand it's all voluntary work and you have to take a lady to somewhere and all that so let's see what about help for individual residents do you arrange that at all yes we do it as a one off oh in fact there's mrs carol she needs a lift to the hospital next week and we're struggling to find someone when's her appointment on tuesday it would take the whole morning i could do that oh that would be great thank All you right. i could do that that would be great so taking mrs carol to hospital that is the right answer got it okay very good so you should get 10 by 10 in part 1 and part 4 and even part 2 and 3 i'll give you more tips for that Let's go on question number 7 last question of this series work in the dash at mrs selsbury's house now in the house they have to do something work somewhere so it can be work in the kitchen ke bichari ko khichdi paka ke diya okay or anything like that right so work in the dash at mrs selsbury's house it's going to be the part of house and also next week we're arranging to have some work done to mr selsbury's house before he moves as he isn't healthy enough to do it himself we've got some people to decorate his kitchen but if you could do some weeding in his garden that would be wonderful okay i'd enjoy that and presumably the day and time are flexible oh yes Just say when would suit you best, and we'll let Mr. Selsbury know. Okay, just give me your answer when the audio stops, not before that. Okay, don't give me the answer when it comes. When the audio stops, then give me the answer. So, what's the answer? Garden. Why not kitchen? They already have someone to work for kitchen, so they need this person for garden. Listen again. And also next week. We're arranging to have some work done to Mr. Selsbury's house before he moves, 
as he isn't healthy enough to do it himself. We've got some people to decorate his kitchen. But if you could do some weeding in his garden... Okay, if you could do some weeding in his garden, so that is work in the garden at Mr. Salisbury's house. Got it? Garden is the right answer. Okay, thank you.